Welcome back to the Caspa Silver YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Rust upgrade and just some updates that have come out recently. Also, if you guys are new around here, consider leaving a like on the video after watching it and also subscribing to the channel because we're putting a video out every single day. We're trying to, but eventually that may not happen because I'm going to just not have time to, but I'm doing the best I can. And it looks like we're getting another video out today because I just love making these videos. It's fun to make them. So, all right, let's get into price action first before we get into Rust. As you can see here, Bitcoin is actually currently pumping today. And on the flip side, Caspa is just kind of going right back to where it was two days ago. So we had a lot of rumors. It looks like it was just, you know, buy the rumors, sell the news kind of thing. So we used to uh, believe that Uphold was going to be last week. I'm pretty sure. I think that's when we expecting it the thing was going to be last week nothing happened and so it's still delayed and i'm glad they're not even putting a date out anymore because it's just it's ridiculous like just if you just don't put a date i think if we're going to have a new exchange listings we shouldn't put any more dates out because it just it makes it makes for for non-realistic price action and not organic price action this price action is based off of rumors and the rumors are really annoying because we get fake price action so I think they should just no longer announce that, hey, you know, this is going to come out on this day because then when it doesn't, people's expectations are ruined and people are going to be people. They're not going to understand that these things take time. These things don't always work out right all the time. And then people FOMO or they, you know, they get fear and they FUD and then they just sell. And then when they look back later, they're going to be like, why did I sell that coin? And it's because you did not do your research and understand what's behind Casper. Understanding the whole entire vision of Caspa is key to understanding how to navigate when we go down 11%. You know, the way I think about it is, hey, if I was holding this two days ago and then it, it, we had this little run up and then now we're back to the same price as we were two days ago, why would this cause anyone to think, oh, I'm going to sell? You didn't sell two days ago, so why would you sell now? And if you don't need the money now, then why are you even selling? And then if you do need the money, then you should not be investing money that you do need. I think uh, Bitcoin, though, is for sure going to be giving us a run up next week. Next week is going to be huge for Bitcoin, I feel like, because uh, next week we have the CPI meeting, which that means uh, we're going to get the inflation report for the uh, U.S. over here. And I'm pretty sure that's going to come in a little bit lower. And that's just going to make Bitcoin run up like crazy. Also, the banks that keep collapsing is another reason why Bitcoin is just going to keep running up. And, you know, hey, on this channel, like I always said, I only hold Bitcoin and Caspa. Super bullish on both of those. Those are the only ones I think uh, you should mess with and are the best to mess with. If you're a investor into crypto, but really don't understand anything and you want to try to have the safest, safest investments, Bitcoin is the least riskiest investment. And then Caspa is that more riskier investment to maybe just make a, a lot more money faster than you would with bitcoin but again you know i think both are really really good holdings but again do your own research make sure you understand both projects make sure you uh, are only investing what you're willing to lose make sure you're not only listening to what i say listen to all points uh even the negative ones because it's important to be able to have answers to any kind of question when you're holding something so that you can build yourself some conviction in your investment. So let's get into uh, the Rust updates over here and also the 35,000 transactions that was confirmed on Rust. That's actually like pretty crazy that this is gonna be happening here. But yeah, I'm planning to write a document in the coming days to summarize Caspa on Rust, stability, progress, and estimated timelines for testnet and mainnet. Committing here so that you can stone me if I don't. In short, we are completing the first stability improvement cycle, including, and then he goes into a bunch of different things here says enhance uh, P2P connection and all this kind of like just techie stuff that goes over my head. Uh, Node sta uh, stability and mostly and most importantly block and header pruning. I see this part crucial for increasing blocks per second on mainnet without having disk space rapidly increase. Additionally, this guy is developing a new Rust based TX generation tool for Tastnet, Tastnet aka Roth's child, which is designed for having stable high transactions per second on testnet so that we can make sure all component handle the load correctly. 
We want to do this on time so that high blocks per second testnet can shine like it deserves to. Finally, we need to implement the hard fork logic for increasing. Now, um, I think my next video tomorrow is going to be addressing this hard fork. Uh, I'm going to be explaining the differences between a hard fork and a soft fork and why when we're upgrading to Rust, it's going to be a hard fork and what exactly that means. So tomorrow's video is going to be explaining that concept there. But today, let's continue with this blocks per second. Note that this is challenging since it involves many consensus constraints, uh, constants changing at the HF point. Another option is to open a new test net and avoid this task for the time being. Still not sure. Okay, I suppose this is enough for a teaser or actually isn't it the whole thing already. So yeah, basically gave us the whole entire thing there of what's going on with Rust. There, there's a lot of upgrades happening and it's working actu actually really, really well. And you could see that the blocks per second may need to be a, a separate test because it's just, this is a, it's a lot to work with. And this is going to take time, guys. This is not going to just happen overnight. Um, be ready to be patient. All right. So over here, we see that um, now in testament with the Rust node, you're getting things like process 2178 blocks, zero headers in the last 10 seconds. And this says right here, 351,781 transactions. Uh, but that does not mean exactly that amount. It means 35,000 transactions fully processed per second. So VisaNet, the card network payment processing system handles an average of 150 million transactions per day. And the firm claims it is capable of processing more than 24,000 Visa transactions per second. And over here on the Rust testnet, we were able to achieve 35,000 transactions per second. We are already competing with Visa when it comes to transactions. So that's actually pretty amazing that this is confirmed. So to end it off here, it's good to buy Caspa and Bitcoin, but it's not good if you're not holding it on a good solid cold storage solution, because if you're holding it on these exchanges, these exchanges hold your crypto. They have all authority to ban your account and not give you your crypto. If they go bankrupt, they don't have to give you back your crypto. They can do whatever they want with your crypto because it's not your keys. Tandrum Wallet is a new solution for a cold storage wallet and all it takes is cards. No needing to save your seed phrases, no needing to write them down and try to hide them somewhere. All you need is two or three cards for a Tandrum wallet and all you gotta do is scan it to your phone just like this picture is showing right here and you get access to your funds. And it's just as easy as that. And if you guys use my code Caspa Silver at the checkout, you guys will get 15% off the cards. Right now, two cards is going for $37.32. And this is with my code Caspa Silver. So this is only going to last till May 15th. After May 15th, it's going to go to 10%. So get your Tandrum wallet today. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Please leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. And I'll see you guys in the next one.